You've probably all heard the word, but what does it actually mean? Your welfare is our number one priority. In simple terms, we have a responsibility to keep you safe and make sure that you have the right support when you need it. This means making sure that school is a positive and safe place for you to learn and achieve your very best. Your rights as young people are really important. You have the right to feel safe every day, to be looked after physically and emotionally, and to be listened to. You have the right to feel valued and accepted for who you are and feel like you belong. You have the right to learn in a safe and positive environment and to access additional support and guidance when you need it. Protecting your rights is at the heart of everything we do as a school. Absolutely no one has the right to treat you in a harmful way, whether that's physically or emotionally, in person, over the phone or online. To help you understand what we mean by harmful behaviour, here are a few examples. Making you feel scared, unwanted, worthless or in danger. Making fun of you, dismissing your viewpoint and beliefs or humiliating you. Treating you in any way that's not appropriate for your age. Exposing you to violence or aggression. Hurting you physically or emotionally. Forcing you to do anything that could place you in danger or forcing you to do anything that you do not want to do. Using language towards you that is prejudiced, that humiliates or puts you down. Maintaining a positive school culture is vital to keeping you safe. Our school values of trust, respect, integrity, kindness and endeavour are central to this. They are not just words, but define our whole school community. They shape how decisions are made, how we interact with each other and how we behave on a day to day basis. As a school, there are a number of things we will do to protect your well-being. We'll work hard to create a stable and secure environment with clear and consistent boundaries. We'll create a culture where everyone is accepted and differences are celebrated. Through your Learning for Life lessons and other activities, we'll teach you about e-safety and the risk of new technologies and social media so that you can use these responsibly. We'll help you to understand what is acceptable behaviour and what makes a healthy relationship. We'll also make sure our staff have safeguarding training and understand the signs that might indicate when a student needs extra support. We'll support you to attend school regularly. We'll make sure that you know who to talk to if you need help. We'll provide advice and coping strategies. We'll organise support or counselling for you if you need it and work with your families and other professionals to make sure you have the right support in place. We will always listen to you. We will get to know you as an individual. And this will help us identify when something might be wrong and you need our help. We will challenge any aggression, prejudice or bullying in our school. Derogatory, prejudice or humiliating language used towards others is not acceptable. We will also challenge anyone that treats others in an aggressive or intimidating way. So who can you speak to if you need support? Well, the first thing to know is that every single member of staff here at Prenton High is here to help you. However, there are a few key people who it's useful to know about. Mrs Roberts is the Head of Student Services and Safeguarding Lead. And Mr Morris is the Head of Learning Support and our SENCO. Every year group at Prenton has its own school team. For year seven, your school leader is Miss Pemberton and she's supported by Miss Connolly. If you're in years eight or nine, your school leader is Mrs Robson, supported by Mrs Tempest. And our upper school, years 10 and 11, is led by Mrs Hepke, supported by Mrs Byrne. 
Other key people who can help you include Amanda Dunbar, Family Support, Mrs Gretton, Wellbeing Support, and our attendance team, Mrs Steen, supported by Mrs McElvogue. And of course, don't forget that your form tutor is also there to support you. If you need to tell us about something that's happening to you, this is how we'll respond. We will listen to everything you tell us very carefully. We will never judge you, your friends or your family. The member of staff you're speaking to may sometimes take notes to help them remember exactly what you've told them. If we're worried about you, the member of staff will tell Mrs Roberts who will get involved to help you. On occasions, we may need to speak to other professionals from outside of school to make sure that you and your family are getting the right support. We'll only ever share what you've told us with the few professionals who need to know to be able to help you. We'll record what you've told us and what we'll do to support you on CPOMS, which is our confidential and secure safeguarding system. We'll make sure that you have ongoing support in school. And the important thing to remember is that we will always tell you what we are going to do and who we are going to talk to. So that's a good summary of what we can do to support you. However, there's also a lot that you can do to keep yourself safe. Here are our top tips. With more and more of us using social media, it's important that you know how to do it safely. Don't accept friend requests or communicate online with people you don't know in person. Keep your social media accounts private so that you can control who's reading your personal information and posts. Don't share anything online that you wouldn't be happy for teachers, future employers or family to see. And never share private information about yourself or others on social media. If someone treats you in a way that makes you feel embarrassed, scared, guilty or worried, tell an adult that you can trust. Don't accept gifts from people you do not know. If someone who is not a friend or family tries to give you a gift and it's not a special occasion, check with an adult that it's okay to accept it. No one has the right to touch you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable or hurt. If this happens, tell an adult you trust straight away. If someone makes you feel uncomfortable or scared but asks you to keep it a secret, you must tell an adult you trust. The same rule applies if someone is behaving in a controlling way towards you and you're worried about doing something in case you upset them. In friendships and other relationships, no one has the right to control what you say, think or do. We can't talk about protecting your well-being without mentioning bullying. Bullying is repeated behaviour which is intended to hurt someone. There is never an excuse for bullying and it simply will not be tolerated here at Prenton High School. Bullying can make you feel alone and scared. There are lots of different examples of bullying. Verbal, could be name calling, persistent teasing, mocking someone, threatening someone. Emotional bullying, humiliating someone, setting people up or spreading rumours. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking and pushing, as well as theft or the intentional damage of someone's possessions. Cyberbullying is a term used to describe the misuse of digital technology, such as mobile phones or other devices, to bully a person or a group, typically through messages or actions that are threatening or intended to cause offence, anxiety or humiliation. Prejudicial bullying and discriminatory bullying is based on prejudice towards people because of a particular aspect of their identity. For example, this could be their sexual orientation, their gender identity, a disability, their race, religion or beliefs. This type of bullying can result in hate crimes. Sexual bullying can be actions that are harmful and humiliating. It can consist of sexual name calling, vulgar gestures, crude comments, touching without permission, propositioning. A bully might make a comment about a person's sexual development or activity. No one has the right to treat you in any of these ways. 
If you believe that you are being bullied, it's really important that you tell us so that we can act quickly to stop it happening. Keep on speaking to us if it does not stop. Never stand by and watch bullying happen. If you witness bullying, tell a member of staff. Every member of staff at this school will listen to you and help you. We've got lots of different resources to help you develop strategies to cope with challenges and increase your self-confidence. Our selection of Resilient Me cards can help you develop confidence and self-belief, cope with anxious feelings and panic attacks, develop positive friendships and develop revision skills. These strategy cards are available on the student notice board in the main office area if you'd like to take one or you can see a member of staff in student services. Outside of school, there are many useful organisations that are there to support young people. These include Cooth, Your Minds and Brook. There is also a great new Wirral website called Zillow, which is written by young people for young people. You can get lots of health and wellbeing advice and information on local services and the latest events. All of the details on this and many other organisations that can support you are available in the safeguarding booklet that you will all receive a copy of. You can also find links to lots of different organisations in the student services and support section of our website. We hope that you found all of this information useful. If you've got any questions, please speak to your form tutor or one of the student services team who will be more than happy to help. And one final reminder that we are all here to listen, advise and support you. Have a happy and healthy school year. And thank you for listening. Thank you.